Ready? Go. Oh, did you just end it? Yes. Okay. Well, he just ended it. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Who am I, what, am I, what am I filming? That. You just hold that, okay? Because that's what's going to be later. Right. I got to unzoom it. All right. First off, we're going to go up to each one. If I get close, I apologize. It's because it's with my laptop. Okay, just tell me who you are and who you're with. I'm Staff Sergeant Ashworth. I'm with the uh, Quincy Recruiting Station. Awesome. I'm Sergeant First Class William Linder with the United States Army in the same recruiting center as Sergeant Ashworth. Okay. I'm Glenn Myers. I'm Commandant of the Jones City 790 Detachment of the Marine Corps League. Okay. No, I'm Steve Kane, both of fame of Marine Corps League Detachment. All right. Gentlemen, uh, we're at the Adams County Fair, and we're just basically letting people know you're out here, letting them know what you're doing and why you're out here. And uh, I know on one side we have the Marine Corps League, and the other side we have the Army Recruiting. So when, tell us what you're looking for when it comes to performance, what, is, what you're looking for when it comes to people when they're joining the Army. Why would they want to join the Army? Uh, what exactly are you looking for? Uh, Tell them what, what is going to inspire them and motivate them to come out here, talk with you, and uh, get in good with you, and why do they need to talk with you? We'll just start with one at a time. Whoever wants to go first, just let me know. Okay. So basically what we're looking for is anybody over at the age of 17 to uh, what is it, 35. 35 now. Uh, 17 to 35, uh, you got to be physically fit. If you're not there, it doesn't matter. You don't really have to be. We'll get you there. Uh, you have to be medically qualified and lawfully qualified, so if you have a whole bunch of law issues. We can work with some, but not all. Uh, why you would want to do it, I would say basically to set you up for your future. A lot of people don't take into consideration that a lot of jobs are best in the military as a whole, but especially in the Army, correlate over to a lot of the outside jobs, civilian jobs. Uh, police officers were a big one. We have military police as well as a lot of jobs in the Army itself actually correlates over to police officers. So that's, it's a big setup for your career, as well as everybody knows about the college benefits. You pay 100% of college for 36 academic months with the GI Bill. So it's, it's an awesome start, especially if you're young looking to jumpstart your career and trying to stay out of debt. Okay. Uh, it's okay with you. I wanna, uh, can I, uh, you don't have to answer any question you don't want to, but if you mind, I'm going to ask a quick question, okay? How long have you been in the Army? I've been in the Army. I just hit 10 years back in May. So it's, and, and why did you join the Army? What was your motivation for joining the Army? I joined the Army because uh, I have a very big family tradition in the military. Uh, I'm actually the first person that went Army. So it was just something that the Army guy was the only one that came to my school. And I decided, hey, the Army looks like a cool path. The guy was pretty cool. And we're all pretty cool ourselves. <laughs> so. It's just something that I did. Uh, I did a three-year contract, and then I realized that the Army took care of me, and I'm, I plan on going on full time. Awesome. As far as you, whatever you want to add, then tell us how long All you've right, been in, uh, what your rank is, and like Senator Ashworth said, you know the college option is really get out awesome side. because if you think about it, you're you can actually be in the Army less time than you are in college. You can sign up for three years and have four years of college 100% paid for. But outside of that, you can have an opportunity to do things that you'll never get to do before. Like doctors that can say, hey, when I was 18 years old, I shot a tank. And people can there say, goes hey, a tank. Man, I shot a tank. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it's opportunities. How many people can say they're an accountant and jump out of airplanes and get paid to jump out of an airplane? Uh, how many people can work as a doctor and travel as part of their job to Korea for a year, uh, Japan for a year, and different places like that. So it's things that you can never do in a normal, regular job here in Quincy. Uh, it gives you that opportunity to just get away from Quincy for four years and come right back home for three years, whatever it may be. Now, why did I join? I got two reasons I joined. One is a family tradition. And because Dad saw it as a family tradition, I was 18 years old with a 1.83 GPA. It was time for me to get out the house and grow up. <laughs> I currently have a 3.6 GPA in college. So without that structure and that discipline of the Army, I wouldn't be doing that well in college. Uh, but I got 18 years in, I'm less than two years away from my retirement. I don't think I look that old, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, 
I'm happy. You know, I've been recruiting for 11 years. It's been a great life. I got to see a lot of people grow up, mature, have family, uh, have their college paid for, and they're back on the streets of wherever they came from. So it's, it's a great opportunity. Uh, before I get over to the Marine Corps, have you guys ever worked with other branches of the service before? We worked with all the other branches because we all have different requirements. For example, the Marines are stricter on tattoos. So if somebody has a certain tattoo, they'll send them over to us. Well, we'll have a different condition that, you know, a kid can't have, say, medically or morally or, you know, just some kind of excitement that they want that we'll send them over to the Marine Corps for maybe the uniform that they think is prettier or whatever. Uh, or they just that, hey, run through the wall type mentality that the Marine Corps brings to it. So we all have our different things. Some people just want to be on a ship for three years. You know, we have boats, but we're not on the ocean that often. So it's different things like that. Go back over to you real quick. Now, the commercials on TV. How accurate are they? And how dedicated and motivated does a person have to be to actually do what the commercials say? Because the military is very big and there's lots of different MOSs, lots of different training. And say somebody joins because they saw a commercial and they see guys hitting the beachhead or they see guys jumping out of parachutes, you know. They, they see airborne, they see rangers and everything else. And is it not true that everybody has that chance after boot camp given that all their record's good, but do they not have a chance? In other words, it's open to everybody as long as you got the motivation to do it. It absolutely is. Uh, a lot of times, especially uh, depending on what you can score on your ASVAB, which it's basically broken up into math and English, and it would be something you'd have to come discuss with us and everything. It's the aptitude-wise of joining the actual military itself. Now, if you can score high enough, the Army can actually guarantee those types of different options in their, your actual initial contract, especially airborne, uh, we have ranger contracts, and if you're over the age of 21, or if you're close to the age of 21, we could possibly put you into the special forces types situations to where we can actually guarantee that in your contract. Now, those types of jobs, yes, you are gonna need that extra motivation and everything, but you don't necessarily have to. I mean, knowing the fact that you're gonna be jumping out of an airplane, it's gonna give you that extra motivation, especially with all the adrenaline junkies and everything like that. So. You may not necessarily have the motivation to do it. I would love to jump out of airplanes, but it was, it's one of those things that you may not necessarily have it to begin with, but you'll have it when you're done with it. It's, it's an awesome experience. I've heard a lot of good things about it. it, especially, I mean, those Special Forces guys, they love their jobs. The Rangers, they love their jobs. So you, you get it in the end. You have that esprit de corps and everything like that to know that you're doing something greater and you're actually a bigger piece of the pie than, like me, as a tanker. Then, I mean, but you have the extra motivation to go along and do all that extra stuff. Okay, thank you. Now we're gonna cut over to the Marine Corps. Now, we're gonna go up with uh, the Marine Corps League, and these are gentlemen that have already served their time, and they served honorably, and without cause, meaning that they got through it, and now there's life after the active duty military, and then once they're done, we'll wrap it up, but I'm gonna go with them a couple questions. This is. Uh, Mr. Glenn Myers, he is the Commandant of the Marine Corps League in Quincy, Illinois, and I'll let him start. Tell, introduce yourself, then we'll go to Steve, and then we'll and go to the questions. Again, I'm Glenn Myers, I'm Commandant of the Marine Corps League. We, uh, we help Marines. Uh, young men come out of the Marine Corps League, uh, out of the Marine Corps, we'll uh, get them books when they go to college, we'll pay for their books. We put on dances over at the Veterans Home to help the veterans out, we help them with supplies, wheelchair tires. Things the VA doesn't give. We do uh, fundraisers to raise funds to apply to these kinds of things, and uh, we get a little separate buy in the deal. It's a win-win. Now tell us a little about real, real quick before I go to Steve. Tell us a little bit about what you did. These gentlemen over here and, and these soldiers over here, you know, they they're active right now. What did you do when you were in? And tell us about your experience while you were in the Marine Corps. 